birds of paradise. One man sits in the street and hooks his eyes on those who pass, then whistles at them in the tongues of not quite familiar birds. Another wears black leather and a ten-gallon hat and shouts about the coming of the Lord into the nightshade box hidden in his hand. The smiling woman buying quiche and apples, who's kept herself in trim for Mr. Wright, will go to bed tonight and slit her throat. And I write poetry, and poetry walks along the edge of all such things. And sometimes the temptation's there to step quickly over the line into the path of what comes roaring out of the dark. But for now, I'll start another poem, shut behind my crimson door, while up the street the man has found a strange new bird of paradise. And the Lord has come just a little closer, and a small black choir sings in the woman's mouth, like the sound of distant shorelines endlessly reshaping in the rage where land encounters the sea.